All right, everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so I'm a little bit late in getting these out, uh, but better late than never as we are finally getting around uh, to the Spy Family reaction videos. Uh, so just finished recording uh, the one for Chapter 56. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I'll do a kind of a quick rundown of the uh, channel stuff I said on there. So TLDR, I uh, expect a channel update this weekend, probably Saturday or Sunday. I uh, will try to get it out Saturday if possible, It'll depend on timing and everything else. Uh, like I mentioned my kaiju videos, expect a sender and monstrous uh, reaction sometime this weekend as well. And then on the channel update, I'll talk about uh, Lazarus videos and things and other plans for uh, the channel during Christmas break. Uh, so look forward to that. And without further ado, let us dive into Spy Family Mission 57 uh, by Tetsuya Endo. Uh, translation by Casey Lowe, lettering by Rina Mappa. And so we pick up with, uh, oh, the new chapter picks up with Anya heading back to school after her little uh, cruise vacation. Jeff, hey, so what did you do, do during the midterm break? I want to see the Picassos at the art museum. I saw the orchestra perform at the National Opera House. Oh, nice. And you see Anya just walking in with like this confident expression. As, uh, what is, is it Becky? Uh, I have the wiki you pay so I can talk <laughs> all their names. I right. see so have Becky going, hey, hello, Anya. How have you been? And she's like, good morning, Bing. <laughs> what the hell is good morning, Bing? <laughs> and Becky's like, whoa, you look a little tan. Where'd you go over the break? And Anya's like, ah, is that what you wish to know, my lady? So be it. And she looks up to see you. <laughs> she looks up to make sure that Damien's listening in. And she's like, the tale you seek is a grand saga set upon the sea. Little did I realize the adventure I'd embarked upon. And Becky's like, is she doing some sort of role play? And Anya just kind of glints and she's like, when I cross the gangplank onto the grandest luxury liner in all of Ostania. Becky's like, no way, did you really? And you have Damien be like, what, what did you say? It's like, wow, Anya, you're like some kind of movie star. And Damien's like, you were seriously on that legendary ship? Like, for real? And Becky's like, see, I told you Anya was way cooler than you thought. He's like, I'm so sorry, Anya. You forgers are more than worthy to visit my house. Oh, of course. I knew it. <laughs> Look at Anya vision. Oh, of course. And you see that, yes, it is Anya vision. And she just has her eyes closed. And she's imagining all these interactions. And she goes, plan B achieved. Super agent Anya always completes her mission. <laughs> Becky's like, oh, so nothing special, huh? You had to be going there. And Anya's like, huh? You bet it was special. That ship was huge. The Princess Laura Bly or something. And Becky's like, you mean the Princess Lorelei, right? Yeah, I sailed on it before school started. It was okay, I guess. And Anya's like, huh? So we stayed in the Imperial Suite, but all the furnishings seemed a little tacky to me. It's like, Papa and I stayed in a third class prison cell. Do you have a huh? <laughs> As you have uh, Damien's two goons. Oh, God, these guys have such a weird name. What was it? Ewan and Emil. Just giggling as they have a pfft. It's like imagining traveling third class, not being embarrassed to say it out loud. <laughs> and you have Anya just having like a horrified, angry cross expression on her face. It's like sometimes I almost feel sorry for the peasantry. I spent the other day in a helicopter soaring through the skies of Mug. It was delightful. We stayed at a first-class hotel in Bayonne and ate one five-star meal after another. Becky's like, ooh, so what? I told my dad I wanted to meet the starlet Rachel, so he got her to party with me. It was so much fun. There were like a hundred people there, and she gave me presents and told me all the backstage gossip about the show. It's like, whoa, Becky, that's incredible. It's like, wow, Black Belt Heavy Industries is in a whole other league. And you have a tee -hee. It's like, so tell us everything about Rachel. Is she that pretty in real life? You have to bring me next time. And you see Anya just taking in a deep breath as she stands up and slams her hands on the table. Do you have a huh? And he's like, yeah, but on my boat, there were like a hundred of the most infamous villains ever. And you see, exaggeration. <laughs> 
Yeah, villains? Like, for what show? Like, it isn't your boat, Anya. It's like, ooh, who are we talking about here? It's like, yeah, tell us, tell us. It's like, some of them even seem to be from foreign lands. It's like, international movie stars? For real? Don't play games with us. Tell us who. It's like, fine, I'll give you an example. And she's like, sickle, sickly chain Bartleby. She's just like, glint. She gives him the look. <laughs> They're all just like, who? It's like, who the heck is that? Like, a street performer? Uh, was anyone else there? And Anya's like, huh? Um, well, there was Thwomp Man who commanded elephants. Not true. And Shwoop Man who could teleport. Also not true. It's like, were they a circus troupe or something? And Anya's like, villains. Victorious villains. And then all of them are just laughing. Like, ha <laughs> villains. So what, you got attacked by pirates, you poor thing. It's like, pirates? I think that would have been on the news. She's just messing with you. It's like, that's right. They covered up all the bad guy stuff that happened on the cruise. What a waste of time to even ask. Nani's like, no, no, no. They all kept it all off the news, you see. Because there were secret bad guys even the government didn't know about. Twisted villains who came from... <laughs> Desperate. There's like twisted villains who came from beneath the sea itself. The Octo people. And she imagines the sickle guy as an octopus wielding the sickle. She's <laughs> like, luckily, I heroically stabbed every last one of them to death. So, like, well, my mom did. And you see them all just lost interest. So, they're like, so spill all that hot gossip you heard from Rachel. It's like, oh my god, you gotta introduce me to her. And he's like, huh? Like, and so I foiled their plans and protected the earth. Uh, he's like, ee, what? No way, Samantha was there too? And you see Damien going, wow, she really is something. Oh, no, that's, uh, what was it, Emil? Yeah, it's Emil going, uh, wow, she really is something. And he wants, like, quite the fabulous indeed. It's almost impressive in a way. Damien's like, yeah, I could watch this all day. Octa people who command elephants. It's like, hey, hey. And you see, all right, take your seats. I trust you all made the most of your midterm break. And one of the other kids is like, Anya says she spent her slaying the Octa people. <laughs> Poor daughter. <laughs> and she's got the most ridiculous look on her face. <laughs> And the teacher's like, did she now? Good for her. His year after school just slowly trudging away, all despondent. As Becky's like, listen, Anya, I totally get it. It's human nature to want to puff yourself up sometimes. If that helps you become the person you want to be, there's nothing wrong with that. That's what mom says anyway. And Anya's like, Becky. Oh, who's a Frankenstein looking kid? I know he helped George. He's walking by, goes, but be careful not to lie too much, or you'll end up becoming an outcast like me. And then you see later that night, Yuri has come to pay a visit to the Forger household. He's like, you're, oh, you're, it's really you. I haven't seen you in so long. And Lloyd's like, must he be so loud? And you see you're just giving him a little surprise back. It's like a little souvenir for you. He's like, I will cherish it for the rest of my life. And you see Bond perking up with a sniff sniff. And a wharf as Anya is home. And he goes running over to greet her. He's like, I'm back. He's like, welcome home. He's like, hmm, is something wrong, Anya? He's like, so your classmates mocked you for falsely boasting about your trip? He's like, I even cried a little bit. They called me a liar. Well, he's like, why did you feel the need to lie in the first place? And she's thinking back to how she was telling Lloyd for plan B's sake. He's like, how do you know about that? And she just kind of gives him the death stare and goes, I just wanted attention. And uh, Lloyd's like, telling casual lies whenever the impulse strikes is a dangerous habit. Deception must be pursued strategically, and you must commit to it completely. You stake your very life upon it. A proper lie requires plausible details in order to be convincing, as well as at least a kernel of truth when telling an audacious falsehood. It's like, or, um, you see... <laughs> 
Alright, so he had Lloyd Vision instead where he just imagines himself telling her all this. Instead, he has his deadpan expression as he goes, uh, um, you see, lying is wrong. And then we get Yuri Vision as he goes, I deal with liars every day and they're worthless trash. The whole lot of them. They're nothing but parasites eating away at our nation. Me? Well, yes, I lie about who I am, but that's for this, your sake. Anything would be righteous if it's for your. And instead, he just says, yeah. Liars are trash. And you're just like, uh, yes, you should be comfortable with yourself just the way you are. And I know you'll get along better with everyone if you're honest. And you see all of the just deadpan expressions except for your who's just kind of starting to sweat a little bit. And Anya's just like deadpan, unimpressed expression. She just nods and goes, being a liar does seem pretty rough. I'll try to stop. Ah, uh, all right. Ah, oh, it has just a to be continued. No idea when the next chapter is going to be out. Ah, uh, but yeah. Another entertaining little mini chapter. Ah, uh, just, again, uh, Tsuya Endo keeps knocking it out of the park with those glorious, glorious Anya expressions. Ah, uh, they really are one of the big highlights of the series. Cannot get enough of them. Ah, uh, not really much to say in this chapter. This is more... A transitionary one, I guess, kind of still deciding what to do uh, with the next arc, I guess, because they did take quite a big break after these last uh, couple of chapters. So I guess they're kind of planning, deciding like what arc and stuff to do next, and probably like planning for the anime and stuff like that. Uh, that's fine. Still a very entertaining chapter. I always love seeing Anya trying to like you know impress her classmates and failing miserably. Uh, it's always good for a laugh. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to see where the next arc is going to be. Uh, yes, we'll see, because I don't think it had a day for what's coming back. Uh, but whenever the next Spy Family chapter comes out, hopefully I will actually be on top of it this time uh, and get to the reaction as soon as it drops rather than letting it uh, pile up like I did this time. Uh, with that said, uh, uh, thank you all for tuning into these videos. As always, if you like my content, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I've been fluctuating around. Uh, the 150 subscriber count for a while now so uh, if some good people want to help me kind of just clear that hurdle once and for all uh, I would really appreciate that it would mean a lot to me uh, like I said expect the channel update video sometime this weekend uh, with details on read throughs stuff like that what's happening for the channel on the next week and until next time this is Ash I will talk to you all later